Good evening, friends. The topic which I have chosen in this web series of IPR episode three is geographical indication. Today we will be discussing what is geographical indication. What is the importance of ge geographical indication? Moving further, I'll take you towards the introduction of the topic and its meaning. Okay. So the GI gives an opportunity to the group of people or the state or the country. Regarding availability of premium price and consumer preference, which may lead to flow of goods in the marketplace containing false indication of geographical origin. There are number of terms demanding a distinction for understanding the concept of GIs. These terms include indication of source, which means like made in India, made in US, appellation of origin, and geographical indication. Appellation of origin means the geographical name of a country, region, or locality. Which serves to designate a product originating therein. The quality and characteristics of which are due exclusively or essentially to the geographical environment, including natural and human factors. Benefits of geographical indication: it helps in establishing a niche for the products in national and international markets, because when people are able to find out that a particular product is from the basic origin place. Then, they, then, then they think that this must be a product which have, which will be having the natural features which are present in the environment. Then, getting a premium price for the producer. It, if a product has received a GI, then it helps the producer getting a premium price because the price which is available already in the market is the is for the product which is grown at different places of the world, but the price which will be quoted to the original producers will be always above the average price in the market. GI helps in informing the consumers about the true origin of the product and prevent the consumers from being misled or cheated. So consumers can easily find out with the help of a GI. That whether the whether the product which we are, which they are going to purchase is from the origin original place or not, it helps in protecting indigenous knowledge and methods of production. I'll give you example like people who are being into a business since generations, they know certain secrets of their trade which have been developed by their ancestors. So if those people or those particular group of people can get GIs, then the particular knowledge which has been developed by their ancestors with the help of years of research will be also safeguarded. Next point: Joint efforts of members of producer association can be instrumental in reducing cost and improving the quality. This means if large number of producers comes together and form association, then it will help in reducing the cost because everybody will be putting their own skill. Finance and sometimes techniques also, and this this will also help in improving the quality. GIs are used as a tool for socio-economic development for the specific geographical area from where the goods originate. What will happen when the particular area will get a GI? Then that area will be visited by others producers from different parts of the country and sometimes even from outside of the country. So automatically the socio-economic development of that area will happen. Okay, so section one, subsection three e of the geographical indication of goods registration and protection act 1999 states that GI in relation to goods means an indication which identifies such goods as agricultural goods, natural goods, or manufactured goods as originating or manufactured in the territory, region, or locality of the country. Now, definition of goods. Goods means any agriculture, any agriculture, any agricultural, natural, or manufactured goods, or any goods of handicraft or of industry, and includes food stuff also. Indication means it includes name, geographical, or figurative representation of any combination of them, conveying or suggesting the geographical origin of goods to which it applies. Agricultural goods like crops, natural goods, which automatically 
grow on, on our planet earth like herbs and manufactured goods the products which we manufacture in small scale industries large scale industries or any goods of handicraft which is been done by a particular group of people and it also includes food stuff like any dish which have been or any delicacy any beverages which has been developed in a particular area or a country now geographical indication in india chapter 2 of the gig registration and protection act deals with the registration and conditions for the registration of gis the controller general of patents designs and trademarks appointed under section 3 section 1 subsection 3 of trademark act 1999 is the registrar of gis section 6 subsection 1 provides for the register of gis to be kept at the head office of the geographical indication registry which is at chennai the register under section 7 subsection 1 has been divided into two parts such as part a and part b both the parts records different information i will be telling you about them also now part a of the register contains the particular related to the registration of gis and part b of the register contains the particular related to the registration of authorized users means part a contains the product or goods part b contains the association or area where the particular product has been registered now what cannot be registered under gis it is very important to know first of all the use of which would be likely to deceive or cause confusion second which comprises or contain scandalous or obscene matter any matter which is likely to hurt the religious feeling of any class or section of the citizen of india next point the use of which would be contrary to any law for the time being enforced which would otherwise be disentitled into protection in a court means anything which cannot be say cannot be protected in a court cannot also be registered under geographical indication registration procedure as under section 11 subsection 1 of the act any association of persons or producers or any organization or authority by or under any law for the time being in force representing the interest of the producer of the concerned goods willing to register a gi in relation to such goods can apply in triplicate to the geographical indication registry chennai office mean which means i'll give example suppose there are people at banaras who are dealing into manufacturing of banarasi sarees if they form one association they can apply for getting a gi in the geographical indication registry chennai office in the form has to be filled in three copies the duration a gi is registered for a period of 10 years and it can be extended by undertaking the process now this is the present gi status in india i have chosen the whole map of india and i'll be dealing which state has gi for which particular product we will be starting from the topmost state of the country so jammu and kashmir has gi for pashmina shawls and hand knotted carpet then himachal pradesh has gis for kangra paintings and kullu shawls <coughs> sikkim has gi for large cardamom assam has gi for moga silk and tejpur lychee west bengal has gi for darjeeling tea bihar has gi for madhubani paintings and bhagalpuri silk uttar pradesh we have lucknow chicken lekin lucknow chicken craft and banarsi sari goa we have feni karnataka we have mysore sandal soap tamil nadu has kanchipuram silk rajasthan has blue pottery of jaipur and kathputlis now the summary gi although being an ipr cannot be assigned transmitted licensed or pledged so if a state has taken the gi it cannot transfer the gi to any other state thank you for watching the video kindly like share and subscribe and if you have any query kindly ask me in the comment box thank you so much